Fighting rages on in Gaza as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken meets with Egypt's President el-Sisi in Cairo for a series of talks aimed at securing a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Blinken emphasized the urgent need for relief for suffering Palestinian civilians and revealed the U.S. has drafted a resolution calling for a proposed immediate ceasefire to facilitate the release of hostages held by both sides. Well, in fact, we actually have a resolution that we put forward right now that's before the United Nations Security Council that does call for an immediate ceasefire tied to the release of hostages. And we uh, hope very much that countries will, uh, will support that. I think that would send a, a strong message, a strong signal. But, of course, we, we stand with Israel in its right to defend itself, to make sure that October 7th never happens again. But at the same time, it's imperative that the civilians who are in harm's way and who are suffering so terribly, that we focus on them, that we make them a priority, protecting the civilians, getting them humanitarian assistance. And we've been leading the effort uh, to do that. In Gaza, the situation remains dire as Israel's offensive zeroes in on El Shifa Hospital. Local residents report ongoing attacks on the medical facility, compounding the already severe humanitarian crisis. The United Nations warns that food shortages have reached famine levels, affecting over 2.3 million Palestinians in Gaza. Officials from 36 countries and UN agencies got together in Cyprus to discuss speeding up humanitarian aid deliveries to the enclave. Aid shipments are facing logistical challenges and are falling short of meeting the region's urgent needs. Egyptian President el-Sisi emphasized the urgent need for a ceasefire to address the escalating humanitarian crisis and also warned against further military action in Rafah, which has become a safe zone for more than a million Palestinians. Meanwhile, Israel continues its offensive, claiming to target Hamas militants hiding in al-Shifa hospital. An IDF spokesperson asserted the presence of terrorist infrastructure within that facility, saying IDF troops have killed more than 140 fighters in the precise operation. Israeli troops also uncovered $11 million, it says, were to fund Hamas terror activity in the hospital. Hamas refutes these claims, insisting that casualties at the hospital are civilians seeking refuge and accuse Israel of targeting innocent civilians and vow to continue their resistance. While on his sixth Middle Eastern tour, Blinken also reaffirmed the U.S.'s commitment to the establishment of an independent Palestinian state during talks with Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince.